Easter Sunday, a day when a lot of us are lucky enough to spend extra time with family. Tonight, the story of a young man who's found an extended family in a hockey club, and the team has learned so much from his attitude and his spirit as he lives with autism. Edward E. Gross here with his story. Ed. DeuceAutismSpeaks.org says this disorder affects one in 68 children and the number of reported cases is growing. As for what autism is and how it comes about, there's still a lot unknown. The Lone Star Brahmas haven't let the mystery of autism keep them from embracing one of their bigger fans. They love the guy, and you just might too. In the middle of all things Lone Star Brahmas is Josh Deer, but his friends call him Deerzy. He really is the heart and soul of the Brahmas. Unconditional love is probably the best way to say it. Deerzy does a lot for the Brahmas. He helps hang uniforms in each player's locker. We gotta make sure that it looks professional because, you know, the North American Hockey League is a junior league where we have to be serious. He's a stickler for the details, straightening the sleeves, showing off the uniform numbers, laying down socks the right way, and paying careful attention to the overall presentation. For every game, there has to be about 18 skaters and two goalies. He also finds Bible verses to help motivate the players before a big game. I would set it somewhere in the whiteboard in the locker room where they all can read it. What makes Deersey's story different is he's autistic. At one point, it was the least of his health problems. I was having trouble during the pregnancy. He had pneumonia and he also had sepsis. When he was about four hours old, the doctors came in and said, if you're praying people, this would be a good time to do that. Josh was born several weeks premature. You know, having a preemie is hard because you go home without a baby and then you have to go back and forth to the hospital. The dares are going home. After a lot of prayer and medical attention, Josh did go home. His family wasn't sure what to expect as Josh grew up. He talked and played just like any other child, but there were problems. When I would be driving home, if I took a different way home, he would completely fall to pieces. Sometimes he'd also zone out and become too difficult for others to handle. Then, at three years old, after an assessment at school, Lisa heard a word no parent wants to hear. They told us that he was autistic. It was a pretty dire prognosis. I remember driving away from there and just, I had to pull over because I had my children with me in the car and I, I called my mom and I was just sobbing. And I was, from that moment on, I just got steely and said, you know what, we're gonna beat this. Good. With a lot of therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy, among others. It not only took a lot of time and effort. At one point, I felt like I was going to pass out while I was driving. I had to pull over, and it was an anxiety attack. It's also expensive. It ran about $40,000 a year, and that was out of pocket. Sometime in between therapy, Josh discovered a true love, hockey. Score! 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 He watched the Dallas Stars win a Stanley Cup. He learned how to skate. He watched his favorite player, Mike Madano, carefully trying to mimic his wrist shot. He played and then became a fan of the Brahmins. I know his mom and dad really well, and they obviously used to come to the games, and then uh, we asked him if he wanted to be a stick boy, and you know, it just evolved from there. Did someone prepare you for meeting Deercy and what that working relationship would be like. Josh did a very good job on his own, uh, being a leader and kind of explaining to the team himself what his role is. He's very proud of what he does. Oh, and there's one more thing you should know about Deersey. He loves golf. My dad has been a golfer since he was 12 years old because his dad was a golfer then too. Then he used to take me out with some of his friends who play golf. His swing is not recommended, but for Deersey, it works beautifully, driving the ball straight 300 yards nearly every time. My golf swing is kind of like a hockey stick golf swing because I still try to make sure I still swing right because it's like my own golf swing. His story captured the attention of Ernie Els, whose son is autistic. Two years ago, Deersey became the first autistic golfer to play in one of Els' tournaments that benefits his charity, Els for Autism. Later, we went to this Las Vegas finale, and that was on my 20th birthday weekend, and it was so cool to meet Ernie. Now, his two loves of hockey and golf are coming together. 
The Lone Star Brahmas are helping put together a series of events, including a jersey night and a golf tournament benefiting Els for Autism. Generosity is a way of life for Josh. Remember those Bible verses? He offers the same ones for the opponents. And his golf, he teaches the game to others. Josh is definitely inspiring, if nothing less. Um, all the hardships he's had from uh, infant to young adult, it's been amazing to watch. I say wow a lot with him. He's got a gift, he's got something special, and I love it when he can just radiate that to the world. And, and being, sitting back and, and watching it happen is such a beautiful thing. Just knowing what I'm doing is right for others, like helping others out, that's my job. There are plenty of ways you can help the cause. You can help at the Brahma's home game Friday, April 8th. You can also sign up for the golf tournament. That's Monday, April 11th at Iron Horse Golf Course. We have more info on our website, fox4news.com.